Hi, my name is Michelle Sterling. There's a lot of talk going around now about the Alberta inquiry into the tar sands campaign. And people are quite concerned that people should not be reporting in Albertan because they say that's very un-Albertan to report or be a snitch on someone. But I'm here to tell you that there's no need to actually do secret snitching because, in my opinion, the biggest destroyer of the Alberta oil sands was CBC, Mother Corp. That's right. In 2011, they aired a documentary that was co-produced with an independent producer. And in my opinion, it was filled with misinformation, lacked context and facts. And I spent about nine months writing them dozens of letters, begging them to make a new production or balance the documentary that they had, or at least put up a website that showed the factual information. Now, who was I to ask that? I had recently worked at Alberta Environment and I was quite well aware of all the many websites and reports and documents that we had that were available to the public to help them understand this complex area of industrial development in Canada. And CBC wrote me back and they said, oh, well, you know, we sent invitations to oil sands executives inviting them to be on this show, to be in this documentary, and they declined. Well, because someone declines to be in a documentary doesn't give you the right to make a distorted story about that industry, especially when that industry was a driver of one-third of the Canadian economy at the time. So I started looking into it and I found a curious collection of people, a curious collection of funders, and yes, people like Tides, groups like Tides, people um, like those that you see in the show, they all have some connection. And ultimately that connection leads back to the Tar Sands campaign. So I think that CBC should have to pay a price for doing that. I think that CBC should be um, penalized for what they did to the hundreds of thousands of people in Alberta and across Canada who used to have a really good job in the oil sands, who used to be highly respected professionals, skilled tradespeople, laborers. I think that CBC should have to pay. So just so that you understand what my argument is, I put all of my letters into uh, an ebook on Kindle. It's not very well formatted, it's not beautiful. I never expected to sell it or make a billion dollars on it. I just wanted to tell the story that I tried to tell the CBC. So I'm gonna ask you if you would please go online, get my book, read it, and see what you think for yourself. I say that the biggest destroyer of the Alberta oil sands was CBC and it was paid for entirely with taxpayers' money. Buy my book.